Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. I'm working in Affinity Designer to create this shape. I stumbled across it on a social media site and thought it should be doable to create this shape in Affinity Designer using compounds. It is pretty obvious that the shape consists of two circles, an inner and an outer shape. But then we need something to mask the overlap. So the outer shape in half plus the inner shape gives us a combined shape to mask the overlap. Let's put this to work and start creating. We start by creating a circle. If I hold down the shift key, I get a circle rather than an ellipse. We duplicate this one and I scale it down again. Holding shift will keep the proportions in place and a little larger than we align these two and duplicate them again and we want one of the outer shapes to be just half a circle so delete one node and if I press alt and click on the line it goes into a straight line and now I can combine this one with the small circle via the add tool and I mirror it upwards so if I then take all these and say layer create compound it automatically does an add I change the outline to a fill so we can see what we're doing and I start by changing the small shape from the add to an subtract. I then change the mask shape from an add to an intersect and I have the basic shape. If I go in and give the compound a gradient, adjust it and then duplicate it. And the weird thing is even though the boundary box looks like it should cover the lot, if I duplicate it, and mirror it that way everything is good but if I mirror it that way it just takes the visible parts so I'll undo that and for a moment turn the mask off so I have a full circle again mirror it turn it back on and we have our shape if you like this tutorial please subscribe to the channel leave a like and a comment let me know what you'd like to see next and I'll see you again soon